sunny skies for our Sunday across the area. Temperatures on the cool side, but really not too bad at all. We continue to show just some great weather, and as a result, temperatures will continue to be on the warm side. We'll have temperatures that are warm up into the 50s across our area, and by the time it's all done, it will be in the 60s. From the 60s, we'll go to the 70s, and I'll tell you, Juliana, it's going to be a great week coming up our way. Back to you. Looking forward to that sunshine. Thank you, Clay. And you can get the latest news and weather in the NBC Washington app. Now back to Sunday Today with Willie Geist. It is foretold, and though I have committed no crime, I will be arrested, tried, and found guilty. Oh, sad if I Austin Johnson as Donald Trump, yes, at the last summer on last night's new episode of Saturday Night Live. SNL alum Molly Shannon hosted the show with musical guests, the Jonas Brothers. The show in its 15th season, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, recently became the longest running live action comedy in the history of American television. The show was dreamed of as an edgy comedic reflection of the real lives of friends Rob McElhinney, Glenn Howerton, and Charlie Day, who also star in the show as part of the gang that includes Danny DeVito. Even as he continues to work on that first love, the 47-year-old Day has gone on to a successful movie career, including his first turn at directing in the new film, Fool's Paradise. Charlie and I got together in New York this week for a Sunday sit-down and a stroll around his old neighborhood. Los 
Angeles and watched his career take that sunny turn. You know, this is cheating, by the way. You're cheating by me. Uh, with the doll. With Dennis! I mean, to me, it could go on indefinitely. It's harder and harder to do. That's a hard ask for anyone to say, hey, do that for 18 years and don't pursue any other things. And that's the challenge, trying to find a window where we just make sure we can do what the attention it deserves. Day's other things include roles in hit films like Horrible Bosses, Pacific Rim, and most recently, the Super Mario Brothers. He voices Luigi alongside Chris Pratt as Mario. You know, Sonny has been the greatest thing that's happened to me professionally, but never has been sort of considered like a massive franchise thing. No one's ever called me to play Indiana Jones, so uh, just be part of a big franchise is just fun. It's fun to get to be on the ride. Now that you bring Luigi there and start calling me Indiana Jones. They've got Marvel totally, we'll see. Kind of a cool place to live with this young guy, you know? It wasn't fancy yet, so yeah. it felt like uh, I didn't mind running around with a camera. Today has been working on something else for almost a decade. A movie he wrote and stars in about a silent star thrown into the Hollywood machine. You and me are going to do big things, pal. I can feel it. Fool's Paradise, also Day's directorial debut, arrives in theaters next month. This is your first time doing it. How did that add to the challenge of playing this difficult character, number one, and also running the show? I felt a little comfortable in that arena because at the time that I started, I think I had 13 years of experience running the show of It's Summer Sunday in Philadelphia with Rob McElhenney and Clint Howerton. However, I think I ran into some roadblocks and I also didn't have my two buddies when I you know, was really questioning something. I didn't turn over my shoulder and say, hey, Rob, can you push it? Oh, he's not, you know, I'm on my own. Hey, Latte, welcome. Welcome to your team. You got me, your agent. I'll handle all the coming calls and take 10%. Day directs a star-studded cast that includes Ken Jeong, Edie Falco, Jason Sudeikis, John Malkovich, and the late Ray Liotta in his last performance. It's probably my biggest regret is that Ray is not going to get to see the audience see him. He has seen the film. He's funny, too. He's really funny in the movie without being over the top. And, you know, he would... Pitch me jokes that he wanted to try, and I would always let him try it. And I'd say about half of them actually made it in the movie. He was just a really driven, committed, serious about his craft guy, and I'm excited to, to get to share another Ray Liotta performance with the world. Do you have those moments like, my gosh, look at the collection of actors I've assembled here? Yeah, like having to give a note to John Malkovich. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mary Ross, excuse me, Mr. Malkovich. Uh, you might know me from basic cable television. I just want to share it. It's like a, it's like a child. I'm super proud of it. I'm ready for it to go out in the world. And then people don't like the child. Well, they the child. Oh, they're going to like it. Fool's Paradise hits theaters on May 12th. In the meantime, you can catch Charlie as Luigi in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Out now and already a hit. Our thanks to The Back Room in New York for hosting our conversation and to Derek for buzzing us in to Charlie's old building. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit-Down Podcast to hear the full interview with Charlie Day. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday Sit-Down with Academy Award winner Rachel Butts on her chilling new series, Dead Ringers, the moment she won that Oscar, and the possibility of working on screen with her husband, Daniel Craig. Rachel Butts next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday wonder. Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Clay Anderson. Temperatures inside the Beltway in the 40s, but outside the Beltway still a lot of temperatures in the mid-30s. It's going to take a while before they warm up, but warm up they will do. By 9 a.m., inside the Beltway in the 40s will warm up to the 50s to the 60s. Everyone will see temperatures in the 60s today. A great Sunday across our area, and this is what it looks like when we bring up the temperatures. 60s in the afternoon. Happy, happy Easter, everyone. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including graphic evidence from a Super Bowl champion that being a superstar athlete in one professional sport does not always translate to others. James Travis.
But up next on this Easter Sunday, a trip to Jerusalem with a group of Americans making the holiday pilgrimage there. We are back in just 30 seconds. The suggested cash card automatically just for more cash back. See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Feud. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomorrow, and on behalf of the Focati Rug, saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye. bye.